Hi friends, welcome to Mega Technical Hub. In sometimes during drive alignment between the motor and the pump or motor and the fan, you will find very difficulty for the alignment. The readings are not repetitive. There will be change in readings for each time. Why it happens? It is because of soft foot. So in today's session, we will discuss about the soft foot, how to diagnose the soft foot by vibration analysis. And how to correct it at sight. First, what is soft foot? Soft foot is nothing but when all the feet on a machine are not flat to the base. There will be height difference. Because of height difference, there is improper contact between the machine casing and the base plate. It, you can give an example by considering the chair with a short leg. What happens? Due to this short leg, there will be a rocking motion of the chair. Similarly, it happens to the machine. When there is a soft foot, what happens? You tighten the short leg. It distort or deform the machine frame. There will be a bending of shaft and the uh, center line of the shaft, it shifts. There will be a misalignment between the drive end and non-drive end bearings. So there will be increased load on the bearings, there will be misalignment and high vibration levels you face, there will be a seal failures and there will be increased power consumption and it is followed by premature machine failure. So we need to understand the concept of soft food. How many types of soft food are there? There are mainly four types. Parallel soft food, angular soft food, squashy food or spring food, last one is induced soft food. What is parallel soft foot? When the machine frame feet and the base are parallel, but one of the feet on the machine are short in leg or short in length, then it's called as a parallel soft foot. In both the cases, it happens either the motor base, motor feet leg is short or there will be a different elevation of the concrete. Second is angular soft foot. When the feet of the machine are and base are inclined to each other, it is called as angular soft foot. In this case also, if the base of the motor, it is feet of the motor, it is inclined or the concrete or base is a inclined. In this case, you face the angular soft foot. Third one is squashy soft foot. What is squashy soft foot? You can also call it a spring foot. When you use more number of shims here, in between the machine frame and the base, and the uh, shims are bent, or there may be dirt or some uh, dust in between the shims, then it is cause, causing the spring foot or squashy foot. Last one is induced soft foot. What is induced soft foot? It is because of external forces. When you connect the suction and delivery pipe for the pump and they are in stress condition, then it creates the soft foot. Sometimes couplings are in stress or some in case of some uh, equipment are in overhang. That also creates the soft foot. Then how to detect the soft foot by using vibration analysis? We need to take the vibration readings at the motor bearings. Then you will get the strong 1x peak in the radial directions, either vertical or horizontal. Wherever the stiffness is less, you will get the 1x peak in that direction. Because this soft foot, there is a shift of the axis of the shaft and there is a misalignment. So occasionally we also get the 2x and 3x peaks because of this misalignment. And you need to do the phase analysis for this soft foot detection. If the bolts are tight to the feet, then you will get the zero degree phase difference for each bolts. If there is a 
looseness in case of looseness in the bolt then you will get 90 degree to 180 degree phase shift if you get only 0 degree then you can assume it is a soft foot condition in this way you need to differentiate between the looseness and the soft foot in case of machine while carrying out the phase analysis i mean example of the motor and the pump in case of pump there is a uniform air gap between the stator and the rotor when there is a soft foot in the base then then there will be air gap changes between the stator and the rotor because if air gap changes the magnetic field also changes then you will get strong 2x 2 into line frequency along with 1x and 2x sometimes also 3x means you will get 1x 2x 3x that 1x is dominating peak again there will be a dominating peak of 2 into line frequency in case of motor soft foot if you consider the pump there will be uniform clearance between the rotating vanes and the diffuser vanes if there is a soft foot in the pump then what happens the clearance between the diffuser vanes and the impeller vanes changes there is a pressure pressure fluctuation because of pressure fluctuation we will get the vane pass frequency along with the 1x 2x and 3x means dominating peaks are 1x followed by 3 2x 3x because of misalignment also we will get the vane pass frequency because of change in the clearance between the vanes once you detected by vibration analysis you need to confirm at site means which foot is having soft foot what we need to do during stoppage you need to fix the dial gauge at one feet and you just loosen the bolt similarly if there is a uh, no soft foot then is no, there will be no movement of the dial gauge similarly fix the dial gauge in the other bolts just loosen it and check the dial indicator movement so similarly do the all the four base bolts if there is any soft foot in the machine then you will get the dial gauge readings more than 0 0.05 mm then you can consider this a there is a soft foot by using the filler gauge also you can detect the soft foot how means you need to remove the all the shims at the motor base just insert the filler gauge at each base if there are gaps in between the base frame and the feet then there will be a soft foot if it is more than 0 0.05 mm gap is there then you consider it as a soft foot you can also check the soft foot while during the laser alignment when you tighten the bolts then you will get the difference in readings in the laser instrument there is the uh, when there is one any one bolt is loose uh, soft foot is there then will, the readings changes during the alignment so in the uh, during stoppage you can use dial gauge filler gauge or laser alignment tool for finding the soft foot condition in running also you can check the soft foot how means you need to on do the online uh, readings for the motor uh, bearings while carrying out the online readings by using vibration instrument just loosen one bolt here if you the vibration reduces drastically then it assumes that that bolt is having a soft foot but we should not do in the running condition because of safety point of view it is very risky so after complete alignment correction of the soft foot you need to put the proper size shims at the motor base you need to do the torquing sequence like this i hope you understand the concept of soft foot how to diagnose by using vibration analysis and how to correct at site Thank you.